Hello, welcome back to another curve tutorial. We are going to use and talk about the Bezier curve. So it just work like the normal curve tool, but with three point it creates a tangent. Let's stop with three points and let's see what happened. If you go to control vertex, it creates a tangent. Okay, so what does a tangent? If I talk about mathematics, it will get more complicated. So let's keep it simple. So everyone can understand. It's create a point and some kind of a handle coming out of it. At that handles control the curve between two point. Make more sense. And the other tangent updates automatically at the other side. If we break that tangent, it will lose the smoothness of the curve and it will be a pointed curve. Okay. So we are going to explore all those things in this video. So this is your Bezier curve. You can pretty much move everything around. What else option do we have? So if we move this. If we select two point, we can even scale. Or if you just move one away, the other one automatically goes away. So you need to drag select the point to modify it. So let's see we want to like break the tangent and move both point independently so you need to go to curve you will find the curve in modeling tab let's talk this curve if you click on the top bottom line top line here it will just float around and you can move it so we go to bezier curve we have two or op more options let's talk this one we don't need it. anchor points and tangent option Smooth tangent, break ten arc, break anchor tangent, even, uneven. Let's start with the Bezier. Let's select one Bezier. It's a Bezier, Bezier corner. It automatically convert them into a corner and bre breaks them. So now we have two independent. Next is corners. So what does corner does? It remove the Bezier tangent basically. It's a free point which has no Bezier tangent. And from this point to Bezier, you can have a two tangents. But now you can see it's not properly updating the other side. Earlier it was. So the length is pretty much same. We go to the tangent option. And we use even anchor tangent. So what's now? Both side the anchor tangent is scaling. We want to uneven it, uneven anchor tangent. Now the other one won't update. It's updating after a certain point. When it's like the curve is pretty hard to maintain its update after a certain point break anchor tangent so it makes free tangent after a certain point and in smooth arc okay so let's make it like this and you want it to be smooth smooth anchor tangent but it's still gonna be no it's not break, broken but and it's even both sides but one of the tangent is small one of the bigger so we need to make it even it's even now and then you modify it so guys that's it for the Bezier tangents and edit this is all you need to play around and you can create the shape whatever shape you want to create so uh, more options i would like to show you you go to modify and convert let's talk this and you have the option option nerves curve to bezier 
and another option bezier curve to nerve curve right now it's in it's a bezier curve let's create it into nerve curves now it converted into nerve let's create control vertex interesting so this is how it created pretty much not really needed let's try to smooth it curve smooth it will still work as a brazier tangent and the points just without the tangent so let's use rebuild curve go to rebuild three cubical and let's say four point let's stick with the three point apply let's see what happened now it finally converted into a proper nerve curve so this is nerve curve if you want to convert it back into so let's see how much is the edit point so wherever the edit points are the bezier tangent will create there so if you convert it into back to the bezier this is easy see the wherever we had the points the tangent created there and you can just modify it so rather than two point we have tangents few people feel this is better few people might feel the other one is better you can always do it so converting from the bezier to nerves is not easy we just face some problem here the opposite way it's really hard to edit it it's a disaster after converting from bezier to and you have to do a lot of thing to make it work to go and rebuild increase a point like just stay with the three points and apply so this time the shape didn't change it maintained the shape and we got a nice curve so that's it guys for the bezier curve next exercise we going to do some modeling and things with the curves which can really speed up your modeling and production everything thanks for joining stay tuned